September is National Healthy Aging Month, and now may be the perfect time to kickstart a regime that will have you looking and feeling years younger. Dr. Desmond Evans of Alternative Healthcare joins us now with some tips on how you can age gracefully. Good morning to you. Good morning. And I would imagine, uh, since the baby boomer generation is starting to get a, a little higher in age, uh, this becomes a bigger story, a bigger topic of conversation. Uh, absolutely. Um, as uh, people age and we get more and more people, mm -hmm. we're looking at how we can save money. And the whole health care debate really has been about money and cost when we, I think we need to look at prevention. And you're talking about right, and exactly, because if you're doing the preventative measures, and we have a few uh, that we're going to rattle off in just a moment or two, they're not expensive. They are simple things you can do in your everyday lifestyle, everyday diet, that will go a long way uh, to, to help uh, adding some years to your life. Uh, you're absolutely right. I mean, you can't get away from the cores mm -hmm. of good nutrition, regular exercise, and stress management. Okay, let's talk about the few things uh, uh, that are that are at the top of the list. And, and the first is getting a daily dose of sunshine. And uh, you can do that in a whole bunch of different ways, right? Uh, you can. Uh, but it's recommended for, you know, 10 or 15 minutes to go out and uh, get sunshine on your skin. Mm -hmm. uh, but there are estimates about 80% of the U.S. population is deficient in vitamin D. Mm -hmm. So for most people, you may need to supplement with and vitamin that's D. that's where the, the, the so vitamin D. have some examples. You can have it in tablet form or an emulsion form, which may be easier to, to absorb for people who don't like to... Uh, to take pills. Not, not, not the big tablet fan right. myself. So, talking about fruits and vegetables, that seems uh, to be such an easy thing, but I mean, in terms of eating a nutritious, balanced diet, uh, there are the better fruits and vegetables, I would imagine, for this? Oh, well, yes, they are. And really, simply, you can look at the Mediterranean diet. Mm -hmm. That has been studied and consistently shown to reduce uh, the risk mm -hmm. of heart disease, cancers. Um, uh, autoimmune diseases mm -hmm. and to help prolong life. Okay. And the Mediterranean diet is, you know, colorful fruits and vegetables. Right. We have examples. The bright of, stuff. The bright stuff. Berries are wonderful for you. Olive oil is very mm -hmm. healthy oil. Uh, nuts, almonds contain now, healthy oils. No salt on these. These no are just salt plain, unblanched almonds right there. Uh, that's correct. There you go. Moving on to the uh, processed foods that some of you uh, think are good and maybe not so much, right? Maybe not so much. A lot of people think pretzels are much healthier to eat than potato chips, but if you understand glycemic index, which is essentially the ability of a food to raise your blood sugar, mm -hmm. the rate uh, of that pretzels can do that is a higher glycemic index than jelly beans. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. So uh, eat jelly beans is what the doctor said. Uh, no, well, no, not no. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yogurt, uh, you, you have to be careful of the type of yogurt you get. Mm -hmm. uh, the fruit on the bottom yogurt like this has about 70% of its calories mm -hmm. from sugar. Okay. Added sugar. Okay. Let's move on, and because that leads into the next one. Yes. E reading nutrition labels. And, yes. and I am, I'm a big proponent of this. Big yes. fan. Yes, it's very important. You have to look at the labels. You want to know the content of carbohydrates and proteins, but you also want to look for things like high fructose corn syrup, hydrogenated oils. Those are things that you want to eliminate from anything that you eat. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I love this next tip, and I'm just going to say it, and I'm going to leave it up to you to respond. <laughs> use your brain. You have to use your brain. It goes along <laughs> well, well, with that. Well, I'm in trouble. There aren't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, many studies have shown, yes, that you, the more you challenge your brain, just like exercising your body, mm -hmm. helps reduce your risk of dementia, Alzheimer's mm -hmm. disease, and, and cognitive decline. Mm -hmm. Seven and eight are uh, kind of, uh, or six and seven rather, are very simple. Uh, exercise, lifting those weights. I mean, it really, it, you're just reinforcing your, your lifestyle that way, right? You have. And uh, there's a recent study in the Journal of the American Medical Association that showed that independently exercise mm -hmm. and Mediterranean diet mm -hmm. both independently reduce the risk of Alzheimer's. And, and the final one, I, I love this one, just be positive. Have a, you know, and uh, have a glass half full approach to life and as opposed to being a little on the negative side. Because yeah. that, you know, uh, gets, in, um, sorry, gets very stress. Uh, hormones going, a lot of cortisol going, and stress is just not good for you. There you go. You know, Absolutely. And, of course, uh, in, in, uh, the one other thing that we're, uh, we're going to throw up just for a second is get more sleep. That goes without saying. Yeah, I don't okay. think your name needs to be anything that he can say that just says get more sleep. Get if you want sleep. the tip, they're on our website at WTNH.com. Click on the Good Morning Connecticut weekend section. Uh, it doesn't need things. Good tips. Good. And Thank again, you. Uh, Thank you very uh, much especially in terms of, uh, like I said, the, um, you know, we don't want to say the older folks, but I mean, everyone's aging a little bit, and this is certainly some good tips to keep you around a little bit. Absolutely. Absolutely.